Montparnasse district is situated on the left bank. It goes from the Necker Hospital at the corner of Rue de Serve and the Boulevard Montparnasse to the Closserie de la Lila at the corner of Boulevard Port Royal. It owns its name Montparnasse to the students who, after 1725, nicknamed it after an artificial hill was made of rubble between Boulevard du Ponnas and Boulevard Raspail. Montparnasse was at its height between the 20s and 50s when it became the playground for famous painters such as Picasso, Suntine, Montigliani, Dali, Giacometti, everyone who contributed to the glory of the 20th century. La Coupole, with its Art Deco design and 27 columns painted by the artists of the time and other brasseries such as Le Slec, and other brasseries such as Le Select, Le Dom and La Rotonde in the Boulevard Montparnasse were all frequented by famous people Cocteau, Aragon, Josephine Baker, Maru, Pever, Edith Pf. Kiki de Montparnasse, who was the model of Fujita, Modigliani and others, and also Man Ray's mistress, was the district's muse. A temple of literature and painting, Montparnasse was also the district of the Breton people who arrived at Gare Montparnasse and opened cafes and creperies. And of course, if you like oysters and buckwheat waffles, you will undoubtedly choose to go there and try them. If you fancy a pleasant stroll through the district, here's a recommended route. Starting Rue Compagne Premier, which crosses the Boulevard de Montparnasse and Boulevard Raspail, and is still populated by a large number of artists' workshops. If you're a fan of the 1920s, you'll enjoy the authentic facades of the period. And just nearby, if you fancy a scare, almost on the corner of Boulevard Raspail and Boulevard Edgar Kinect, take a walk down Rue Emile Richard, the only street in Paris that has no buildings for 400 metres. And with good reason, it's a simple cut through between the two walls of the Montparnasse Cemetery. There is only one way in and there is only one way out. Before taking a turn in the Jardin de Luxembourg, even if it is famous for being part of the Latin Quarter, go back up to Boulevard de Montpasse, to Boulevard Port Royal, and have lunch at the Closserie des Lila, and you might find yourself sitting on a bench once occupied by Emile Zola or Théophile Gautier, and comfortably installed on the leather seat surrounded by wood panelling, you can imagine yourself listening to Fitzgerald giving his first reading of The Great Gatsby, to Hemingway, two regular customers. Finally, go down Rue d'Assas, walking through the Jardin de l'Orbatoire, to reach the Jardin de Luxembourg, which is home to the Senate. 106 statues representing, among many others, Jose Marie de Herdier, Beethoven, Flaubert, and Chopin, will fill your walk with musical and poetic dreams. The garden designed by Marie de Medici with its different areas. The orangey, pear, orchard and large lake is a haven of peace right in the centre of the left bank. And finally, don't forget that Montpass also welcomes some of the most famous political exiles such as Lenin and Trotsky because the left bank is much more than a simple bank of the river saying it's the home of free and creative thinking for discerning Parisians. Enjoy your walk.